All right, so we had the SID Display Week here in uh, California. And hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Avantama, and we are a Zurich-based perovskite company. So you, you say you're a leader in perovskite quantum dots. That's correct. So what's the advantage of using perovskite in the, for the quantum dots? So basically, um, our perovskite quantum dots, they combine the performance of cadmium, even excel the performance of cadmium. And in addition to that, we are ROSE compliant for QD film applications in this place. So you compliant to what? ROHS, the regulations of um, hazardous substances in, the, in Europe, and actually it's followed worldwide. So it's very important to get to something else in cadmium, right? Definitely, definitely very important. Yeah, you need to follow the ROHS regulations and we can 100% fulfill that. So what, what, uh, what is this? So these are basically our perovskite quantum dots with different emission wavelengths. But of course, for the display industry, we're mainly focusing on green and red. Why? Green and red are the two quantum dot colors, emission colors that you need for displays. So basically then you can use a blue backlight LED in, in LCD displays. And with a, a film like this one, quantum dot film, you can um, create the most um, colorful TVs, LCD TVs, and also the most efficient um, TVs. So you can really um, have a much higher energy efficiency for TVs than before. So are you shipping or what is your stage of your company? Yeah, so currently we're um, in close collaborations with our um, customers. So uh, we hope to ship um, starting next year, 2020. Ship to the people that make TVs? We first ship to the um, QD filmmakers. So these are basically optical film manufacturers mainly in Asia, and they ship to the TV companies. And uh, uh, how does it compare with, for example, what the Nanosys was doing, for example? Yeah. How do you compare? Yeah, so the performance of our materials um, is much better than um, Nanosys' um, performance of their quantum dots. They're based on indium phosphide, their technology. So our technology is um, much more um, color intense and also much more energy efficient. So perovskite has a future, right? This is like a, a buzz, people are talking about this. Why are they talking about the perovskite? So in the display industry, um, the perovskites, the display industry really, really hopes that the perovskites in the end, they will be um, the best technology to be used for high performance quantum dot films and also lower prices, which will enable them to enter the mid-range markets too. Is it because it's easier to find perovskite? <laughs> It's not easier to find perovskites if you have the right technology and if you develop them right, the technology, then it's really there's a potential to, ge to get the best um, quantum dots at the lowest prices. Because it would be nice if it's affordable, all this stuff, right? Right now the quantum dots are a little bit more expensive in the market, but it needs to get down. And I guess in Asia, your potential partners, they're interested, they want lower price. Absolutely, absolutely. So currently, um, the penetration of quantum dot technology in the display industry is very low, is a few percent, one or two percent only. And with our technology, it should be possible um, to really enter the mid-range market by large, um, reaching um, much, much higher um, market shares. Is it correct that Nanosys have most of the market and very few other people join the market so far? Yeah, so um, Samsung is the market leader um, and Nanosys is definitely one of the quantum dot companies that is currently leading the field together with Samsung. That's correct. Uh, so everybody else is showing stuff, but what's the challenge to ship? Well, the display industry is a fast moving industry and in the end the reliability um, expectations from the display industries are really high. So I think um, from a first um, um, test TV to the final commercial product, it's a long way. And I think that's what most companies are struggling with, but we are coming to an end. At they want to see you ship something before they trust you, and they don't trust before you ship, so it's like a chicken and egg, right? Something like that. Yeah, and uh, but in the end, uh, currently, I think the quantum dot industry is in a good situation. So with uh, uh, leading co companies like Samsung really building the market, I think now it's getting easier and easier for other quantum dot suppliers to really enter the market. And what do you show here in this, uh, do you explain something? Uh, is this some of the, what's inside? What's all these materials here? So this is a different technology that we have. 
So we can basically create any inorganic nanoparticles and nanoparticle formulations that our customers want. So these can also be used for printed solar cells or printed OLED devices. Hmm. Printed solar cells, that's going to be a big thing. Is this happening? Uh, good question. So I think from the approach wise, it's a very elegant uh, method. You can print on flexible substrates, for example, polymer films, um, and you can also integrate them in buildings. But market wise, it's developing quite slowly. Um, this is also due to the high price pressure um, due to silicon based solar cells that are really low, cheap. Low, yeah, cheap basically nowadays. It's not possible to make them cheaper when it's like printed solar? I think it's very difficult to make it even cheaper because silicon solar cells are so cheap. So I think the printed solar cell industry, they're looking for additional um, advantages like building integration, semi-transparency, things like this. And it's going to happen how fast and when exactly, that's the question. So here's a graph showing the, how you enhance the colors, right? Or And uh, what is this? These are our perovskite quantum dots. Early. R&D sample of our perovskite quantum dots. So, um, you are shipping next year? We hope we will be shipping next year, correct. So here at the SID Display Week, are you talking with the, the whole display industry? Yep, the SID Display Week is the exhibition to be. So, even all the Asian companies, they're going to be here, or they are here. Yep. And uh, discussions, discussions, and then contracts? Or something like that? Well, something like that, step by based? step. We are based in Zurich, Switzerland, um, at the Lake of Zurich. And uh, we are in a high-tech cluster in a small village, basically, in Switzerland. Um, Which so one? It's called Stefa. It's a town of 15,000 people, but with a lot of high-tech industry. So uh, we feel like we're at the right place. What's the other companies in that building or that area? So there are two uh, well-known companies. Uh, one is called Sonova, which is a hearing aid um, company, one of the leading companies in the field. And the other one is called Sensirion, and they are um, world leading in sensors, gas sensing, liquid sensing, things like this. Nice. And are you the leader in Swiss quantum dots? We are the leader in perovskite quantum dots worldwide, I would worldwide. say. Worldwide. Yeah. And uh, you are, you guarantee this is the future of the quantum dots? We really think it's the future of quantum dots because it enables high quality performance um, at a lower cost than others.